Hello, my YouTube family. Am I going to make it through the week, people? Am I going to make it through the week? Well, I sure as hell am going to make it through the week because I got paid today. And I didn't even get paid my full amount. And I was already impressed. I can't wait till my next full check. That'll be the full check. I, mean, I, I got some bills paid uh, today. Okay. So, yeah. If ever I start to stress and start to doubt Honey, all I have to do is just say, think about your payday, Nancy. Think about your payday. Ding, ding, ding. So, um, yeah. I'm not going to say life is good. Well, life is good. God bless me. Life is good. But, man, they making me work for every penny of it. Jesus. I guess I'm going to be coming home exhausted every damn day. I am done people i am done i'm so done i have dinner so late because that's the only time i have the energy to put the food it thank god it's already cooked just put the food in the oven warm it up eat and that's it because i haven't got the energy to cook anything right now anyway moving right along lips of the day people lips of the day I did do a lip look on this before, but I had a, a a gloss on top. I decided to try to wear it bare. It's not so bad, but it really kind of does need some help. So I guess moving forward, I will be putting a gloss on top. And what is it you may ask? Well, we always start off with the liner. Uh, it is a Sephora. I had this top on it, but that's not the Sephora top but I can't find the Sephora top, so, oh well, it's the Sephora lip pencil, you can't see that, it is in the number 034, you know Sephora pencils of any kind, eye or lip, don't have names, well sometimes I think the eye pencils do, but as far as I know the lip pencils do not, so this one is number 034, it is of a brown family, as you can tell, as you can tell. And the lipstick is a Milani color statement in the color Teddy Bear. And I have done a lip look on this before. Like I said, people, I think I have what? One more, one more nude look to give you. And then we're going to start changing it up a bit. That is Teddy Bear. Love Teddy Bear. That is Teddy Bear. That's like a like a pure milk chocolate shade. There you go. Teddy Bear. Milani color statement lipstick. I wish they'd still make these. You know, adding new colors to them. I really do because these are awesome. Awesome. Okay, people. What is the story for you today? I do have one. But it's not of the characters that I already told you about. I have to make up a name for this one, and it, he's kind of tough. So I'm going to get back to you on him, but I will tell you the story anyway. The stories are starting to be. Now, when I first got trained, the rule for clients is as soon as they come in and they tell them to put their coat away in the closet if they want to, if they're going to have like a long-winded kind of a meeting and stuff, and ask them if they want any bottled water, you know, something to drink. That was the rule. So I've been doing that since. So a couple of clients came in today and, um, you know, after they put their coats away, I said, would you like a bottle? Would, would anybody like a bottled, you know, water? And the woman who was there, she was an el elderly woman, not that old but old, uh, older than me. Let's just put it that way. Um, she said, yes, I'd like a bottle of water. I said, okay, coming right up. So I gave her a bottle of water. No sooner do I try to plant myself back on my desk, I hear, Nancy. So right across from my desk is one of the lawyer's offices. So I, I said, do you want me? He said, yeah, come here. So I went into, and he gave me, you know, he gave me a stare, but with a smile. He said, don't ever 
ask my clients to have a bottle of water. Don't ever. I said, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. That's I, I was told to ask all the clients. He goes, yeah, well, my clients, they don't get anything. I said, okay. I will remember that from now on. So as I'm going back to my desk, I'm remembering that Joker smile that he had on his face. You know, Batman Joker. Because that's exactly what he reminded me of. I said to myself, okay, you know what, Nancy? I ain't going to ask any clients nothing from now on because I don't know who belongs to who just yet. And mm -mm. why? Okay, let me just take this out. So I said, from now on, I ain't asking nobody nothing, no how. Whatever. So they had their long-winded meeting. And when the clients, hours later, when the clients left, he came back to me. And he said, um, I'm going to tell you the reason why I said what I said about my clients never getting any beverages. He said, when I was a little boy, and he told me this story about when he was a little boy, like about five or six. Apparently his father was a lawyer also. He ran into his father's office with, I guess, uh, what, what did he say? He had a, a cream soda or something like that. Egg cream, an egg cream soda. I'm talking about way back in the day, okay? An egg cream soda. He ran into his father's office with the egg cream soda and he spilt it all over the... Um, documents that the secretary had just spent hours because you know back in the day they didn't have computers and they didn't have you know white out or anything like that so spent hours typing and she had to retype it and he said that was the first time ever my father my the first and only time my father struck me and he's telling me the story and I see his eyes going a little you know like he's going back and then he gave me a smile, his Joker smile. I'm, I might as well call him Joker smile. I don't know. I'll think about it. And I said, oh, he goes, and since then, he goes, now that I'm a lawyer, I've seen it and, and it's been done to me. You know, they're elderly people. Sometimes their hands shake and sometimes the water spills. And it's been known to happen that they've spilled it on the documents and such. As, I said, okay, I get it. I, I completely get it. I totally understand. He said, thank you very much. And then he walked back to his office and, you know, all was right with the world again. But see, I'm I, the longer you work with people, the more you get to see their little idiosyncrasies. Okay, I got you. I, I got you covered. <sighs> joker. Maybe I'll call him Joker. But he's not really that bad. He's not like a Joker. But he gave me a Joker smile today. I was frightened for my life. I was frightened for my life, people. Because he, his eyes were laser beams on me, but he was giving me that smile. I'm like, mm, no, no, can do that, that, not on this one. But anyway, the rest of the day was the, the way the rest of the day was. They are going to work me like a beast. Working me like a beast. The only thing I really don't like I can already tell is the fact that I have to do a lot of cleaning. There are three boardrooms. I have to clean. And when I say clean, I'm talking about, you know, I have to take a paper towel, put some Windex on the glass and wipe it down after every meeting. And at the end of the day, I have to put dishes in the dishwasher. I have to make sure that the kitchen sink is like, what am I? Aside from receptionist slash administrative assistant, I'm also a little bit of a maid. But that's part of the job. Because the girl before me, she did the same thing. She was the one that showed me that this is what you have to do. And you have to keep the refrigerator stocked. And you have to order supplies. And just taking it as it comes, people. I'm taking it as it comes. Taking it as it comes. I'm only one person. Something is bound to, to, to slip. Something is bound to slip. So far, I think I've got the net under me because they're still helping me out. 
but eventually that net will be taken away. I'm not looking forward to that day. I still like being the new girl, so if I do screw up, hey, she's still relatively new. Relatively. So, yeah. So that's that's basically it, people. That is basically it in a nutshell. Um, I'm so, you know, I, I leave that place drained. Not only because I, it's a physical job. It really is. I'm doing more walking around. And my back, people, like today when I had to take the mail down, there was a bunch of it. I'm talking those big Federal Express packages, packages that, are, that, that have big things, heavy books and stuff in them. Like, why can't we have somebody pick up the mail and drop it off? No. That's your job, Nancy. I left, I left a little bit of, you know, I didn't leave like 10 after 5 like yesterday. I left it about like 3 or 4 minutes after 5. I walked out and then I had to come back in because I forgot to turn off the switchboard. Huh, neat. Thank God nobody was around my desk. I went blip, blip, blip. <laughs> Turned it off and then walked out. Because I know I would have heard tomorrow morning, um, Nancy, before you leave, make sure you close the switchboard. You left it open last night. Mm-mm. I try to cover my bases. I'm trying to cover my bases, people. You don't understand. I'm still walking on eggshells. I don't know why I'm putting pressure on myself. Because I know why I'm putting pressure on myself. Because I really want to keep this job. I don't want to give them any excuse, any excuse to say, um, you know, it's not working out. I don't want that to happen. Because I, I like the drive there. I like the drive coming back home. I like the fact that it is 6.03 and I'm home. And I've been home for maybe a good 10 minutes by now. But And I had to go to the bank. That's another thing, people. When I left at the other job at 5.30, I had to zip to the bank before it closed at 6. Now, I leave at 5. So I don't have to zip that much. Going to the same bank, by the way. And I was expecting to see some familiar faces. I guess 2016 cleaned up, cleaned up a lot because I was like, who are these people? I don't know none of these people. I mean, I know I've been gone for about three months, but damn. So either people have moved on or they were shoved out. I know that feeling. Okay, so that is it. That is all, people. I'm wearing a new mascara. This here Wet n Wild Max Volume Mascara. This eye, it does have a bristle brush, but it's not the wet formula that I like. It's kind of drying. I do like the brush, though. It's got my plastic bristles. Love those. But it's not wet. It's not a wet mascara. I love wet mascaras. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. My lashes like the wet mascara. And I just wish it were just a little bit more wet. It's this one. The Max Wet n Wild Max Volume Mascara. I'll use it up, but I'm not going to repurchase. Mm. No, no. No can do. And that's it, people. That is it. That is all. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. That's why I've been falling asleep. Like last night, I was watching... Uh, Celebrity Apprentice with Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know, I kind of like Arnold better than POTUS. I refuse to call him his by, by his name, people. He is POTUS to me. That's all he is. Okay? But Arnold is doing a pretty damn good job with the Celebrity Apprentice. He's a lot tougher, I think. He is a lot tougher. So, um, but he sure does like to talk about himself a lot. Ooh, he strokes his own ego. Wow. But he's he's doing an okay job. But yeah, there was a section. I must have fallen asleep. I woke up and like, because it's two hours long. And the team that I was for, I was like, oh, I can't wait to see what they what they do. I never found out what they did because I woke up and it was like, they were in the boardroom already. I was like, oh, 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 
Oh, Nancy, you just, you, you you slipped off a little bit. It slipped off just a little bit. Plus, I was lounging. It was after I had eaten, of course. I was stretched out. My baby Tomcat was on my lap, so he was sleeping, and I nodded off, too. So, but this is what I don't like. Even though I come home early, you would think the, the night would last a little longer. Before you know it, it's time to go back to sleep, hit the alarm clock, and get it moving again. But I wake up at 6.15 as opposed to 6.30. I wake up at 6.15 because I have things to do in the office before I turn on the switchboard. i got to check to see the milk. I've got to check, make sure that the dishwasher is running. And, I, you know, I've got to work before I actually start work. So I give myself ample enough time. I don't rush. 6.15 gives me enough time to, you know, I don't rush. I don't rush. I take my shower. I lounge in the shower for a bit. Think about the day, you know, process the day in my head. Thank goodness I'm not, you know, vomiting in my mouth anymore. I wasn't really vomiting, but I was nauseous. The nausea has gone. I think I'm, the nerves have subsided a bit. They're not completely gone, but they've subsided a bit. But as you can see, I'm still yawning. So terribly sorry. So terribly sorry, people. But, you know, I have time to, I'm not rushing to get dressed. I'm not rushing to feed Tomcat. I'm not rushing out the door. I give myself 6.15. It's early. <laughs> but it's early for a purpose. So, you know, I leave the house at about, I try to leave about 8.45 so I could get there about, no, 7.45. Thank you. I leave the house about 7.45 so I could get there at about 8.15. Take off my coat, relax, stretch, assess the situation, see what needs to be done, dishwasher, make sure the conference rooms are clean and all of this. Let them know that, you know, this chick is on the ball, not dropping it by any stretch of the imagination. And uh, then when nine o'clock comes, I turn on the switchboard and off to the races. Sometimes one o'clock takes its sweet time coming. But with me constantly doing work, like one minute I saw it was 12, 12, 16. That was one, the, the first time I think I looked at the clock on my computer, 12, 16. Next thing you know, it was five minutes to one. I was like, hey. And then it was snowing. Like it was snowing a lot, but it wasn't sticking. So it sort of stuck on like the grass and the car and all of that, like half an inch when I came out left for the day. I had to do a little swiping off of the snow. But it was like ice by that time, so I just kind of shoved it out the way and off to the bank I went. But, you know, I'm busy. I am busy. I am busy. Like, I see myself losing a couple of inches with the way that I have to be running around all the time. And I'm trying to be on those phones and I'm trying not to lose as many, as many calls. Oh my goodness. I'm sure once I really like give myself three month, three to six months into it, it'll be second nature. But right now it ain't no second nature, honey. I'm trying to make it first nature. It's, ooh, but that paycheck was sweet. That paycheck was sweet. And it wasn't even the full paycheck. But that paycheck was sweet, honey. I got I kicked off two of my bills. Bip. It may not have paid all my bills, but I kicked off two of them. And one of them was my Geico insurance. You know I can't be driving around with no insurance. So, uh, yeah. And the other one was my, um, I was going to say Tom Warner, but now it's Spectrum. I am not liking this new Spectrum because uh, new Spectrum ain't working the way Tom Warner used to work, okay? Not happy. But that's for another another conversation for another day. Before the end of the day, like at about 4.30, I started to have a headache. It still hasn't gone completely, completely. I did pop some Excedrin in my mouth. But, you know, a headache needs to be nursed like you're lying down in the dark and then that's it. Like a migraine. Thank God it wasn't a migraine. So as soon as I felt the little, 
it like little bit bip in my head. I'm like, mm, I'm popping me some drugs. I don't care what they say. I, I need the drugs, people. So yeah. It's, it's still overwhelming. It's still overwhelming, but not to the point of me hyperventilating anymore, I don't think. I've got it covered. I think I've got it covered. That whole boardroom situation, that whole boardroom pro program where people are jumping in boardrooms and they're not scheduled for boardroom, that kind of whole thing, I am still unfamiliar. But I'll get the hang of it. I'll get the hang of it. This is only week two, people. I hope to get the hang of it because I do like it and I see that they're patient with me so you know and they give me fair warning like Mr. Joker smile did today oh you know you can't be yelling at me because I didn't know okay I was told guests get offered water guess what I ain't offering no kind of guests nothing no more no out done Oh, and here's another thing. There was a meeting that lasted, at least it had to be four hours. There was food that was delivered for it and everything. Here's the good thing. The food that doesn't get eaten, we all get dibs on it, like sandwiches, like good stuff. Sandwiches, potato salad, all of this good stuff. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> there was like half a pound of macaroni left macaroni salad left I said I'm taking that home and Kathy was like do you girls because if anybody's not gonna eat it it's just gonna get tossed in, in the in the garbage anyway I wrapped that puppy up and took it home with me there was still a good amount of potato salad left there was mustard the one thing that I was I cringed when she did it there was um a plastic bowl of of salsa that I don't think anybody took any. She said, oh, we don't need this. And she tossed it. Before I, I was about to say, because I cook with salsa. Marinade with it and make the food taste all yummy. My meats especially. I could have brought that home. I could be saving me some ducats with this. I'll probably, t if they don't eat all the sandwiches that were left out of house and home tomorrow, I think I may just bring home some dinner with me. So that's the good thing about the job. Free food, none. Free lunch. Hey, if it's good, I will buy it. And the guy who cooks, I'm going to have to find his name because he made me a chicken salad wrap and the wrap was tomato flavored. It was really good. And he put some bacon on it. I, I asked for chicken salad because I wanted to taste their chicken salad. I said, could you put some bacon in there? Bacon makes everything taste good, people. So he made my chicken salad with bacon with the tomato wrap, tomato flavored wrap. So good. So good. So, yeah, I'm going to have to get to know him. Like, what is your name? Not that he's cute or anything, but he cooked my food really well. And the price, like I said, is like 75, 75 cents less than across the way where I used to work. Okay, so I'm saving ducats that way as well. Here's the other fan tale. I'm telling you, there's so many pluses. There's pluses and there's minuses. You know, what can I say? There's no underground parking. See, I'm not too fond of that. Because during the hot, hot, hot heat, when I was working across the way, there was the underground parking. And even though it was hot and muggy, it was underground and my car was in the shade. This is going to be problematic. There's no underground parking with this new job. It's just out in the open. So I'm going to have to make sure that I have my visor for the back window as well as the front window when the, the, the heat starts coming in. I'm not fond. Like, you know, in the snow. If I was parked on the ground, I wouldn't have to worry about, you know, wiping the snow off. I had to wipe the snow off and all of that before I went to the bank. So there's pluses and minuses with everything, people. Pluses and minuses with everything but you know what I do have to start buying again I have to start buying my cash for life and my win for life I gotta start buying them tickets again I really do I really do I really really do 
because they help. They help. You know, when you, you, you like to visualize what you, what your life would be if you had a thousand dollars a day for the rest of your life. What? Okay. Let me not even get started, but I do have to start buying it. Maybe Friday. If I remember, I'll buy a ticket, two tickets, win for life, cash for life done. Okay, people. So that is it. That is all. That is the little story for the day. Um, you know they'll be coming fast and furious, don't you? Yes, they will. I'll let you know. I'm I'm not going to call him the, uh, the smiling joker or joking. Yeah, no. I'm going to have to find a different name for him. I'll get back to you on that one. In the meantime, I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye now.